Hello beautiful soul. What I've noticed in my life is that one of the biggest fears is the fear of other people's opinions. It's basically the fear of other people's thoughts. We're afraid of what they're thinking about us. We're afraid to, we're looking over our shoulders to see if people are like watching us to see if we're doing bad stuff. So basically speaking, we're, what people are afraid of, the biggest fear almost is the fear of other people's judgment. We're afraid to be not accepted. We want to be accepted, we want to be loved. We're afraid to not be loved. We're afraid to be judged, not accepted. We're afraid to be rejected. We're afraid to be disapproved. We're, people are always looking for people's approval. And this, all of this looking for people's approval, positive opinion, acceptance, love, being part of the group, looking for people's positive opinion and agreement, like their acceptance. This like wrecks us, this wrecks us. We're afraid, we live in fear, and we're always like, we're always like needing people's, uh, their positive opinion. We're living in a state of fear and watchfulness, and we can't then relax and be ourselves. Like, it really, 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 really is not good for us. So in this video, I want to remind you the importance of trying to be let aware of this, one, to be aware, and two, to let go of this, this fear and this craving and needing to be approved, accepted, loved, um, etc. Yeah, I've seen this in myself for sure, like, you know, even with, like, diet, like, everything. Acting unusual, being more, like, childlike, playing, um, dancing, singing, how we look. We're always afraid. We're always like trying to be something, you know? We're trying to like appear somehow better or more like perfect than we really are. But really we're all perfect where we are. We're all diamonds. So yesterday my partner asked me like, I'm, like you trying to, you want to be like him? Like Osh, Osho. And I, I'm like, oh, no way. Of course I don't want to be like him. I want to be like me. Like, I don't want to be like trying to poor imitation of somebody else. Like, I don't want to be like anybody else. I want to be me, like the best, most authentic, genuine, perfectly pure and brilliant and authentic me there is in the world I'm the only me and everyone is amazing and brilliant and perfect and like we don't have to be a monk to be holy or spiritual we don't need the public opinion calling us a saint to be somehow good that's like so egotistical if you're trying to be a saint but people all a saint is is just someone like the public opinion thinks you're doing good but to be honest even when you're altruistic and doing a lot of good there's a lot of people do this with a sense of self-identification of this is who they are and they they think they get a kick an ego boost like an ego kick out of thinking how kind they are but really there's no holiness in like neglecting yourself or abandoning yourself and not practicing self-love so to be honest you have to practice self-love look after yourself fill your cup keep filling it but at the same time as you're filling it you can help other people but emptying your cup and depleting and depriving and exhausting yourself in the, in the name of kindness is ridiculous and not kind to yourself it's not kind at all it's really mean to yourself so practice being kind to yourself. So yeah, that's all I want to say. So um, having a lovely time in Green Days Cafe here in Thailand in Chiang Mai. My partner Izumi's over there reading a Japanese book. And please everybody, go topless, walk barefoot, do what you want to do in life. Stop caring about what other people think, please. Just be more free, be so much happier. Don't be worrying about your parents' approval or what they want you to do in life. Stop caring what other people want you to do. S start doing what you want to do with integrity. With it, honor, integrity. Just do what you want to do, not what other people want you to do. It's your life, it's not their life. They have their body, you have their body. They can do with their body and mind what they want to do with integrity. And you can do with your body and mind and life what you want to do. Don't be controlled by other people. Enjoy your life as a result of doing all of this stuff. And second of all, say no. You have to learn how to say no because don't be a people's pleaser. People's pleasing, fear and approval, all of these things. Say no. Become brilliant. Practice in the mirror. Practice with little tiny little things. Do make believe. Uh, even like ask someone to ask you something. Do you want to go to the shop? And say no. Like because loads of people say mm, maybe yeah, and they really don't want to. Like it could be any other example apart from the shop. So yeah, stop pretending to be something or somebody, please. Let go of your labels and your attachments and identifications, and you'll be free. This is about honesty, everyone. It's about honesty and truth. Self-love, honesty and truth. It's about being real, authentic and genuine. It's about sharing and showing yourself to the world. It's about showing up instead of hiding, and pretending and suppressing. Okay? This hiding, pretending, suppressing, okay, is a massive block. Massive. 
the more blocked you are in these ways in any area in life the more you're not going to be connected to your inner true spirit like a child like a, like an angel okay like the pure you the more blocked you are the less fun you're going to have the more unblocked you are the more you're going to be having peace naturally having kindness and love with a sense of balance where you're not neglecting and abandoning or hurting yourself and you're going to have way more fun and relationship good connections when you let go of all the, of these big heavy blocks everybody you're going to have a way better life and I really want to share this with you because I'm inspired because I feel the benefits and I want you to feel the benefits Boink. so that's all I want to say in this video I hope it's helped you and please uh, if you want to befriend me on Facebook I invite you check in my links below um, you can Facebook link and my Higher Stuff Herb web shop for herbs, superfoods and enzymes and essential oils and life clarity coaching and awareness coaching. So I do awareness coaching and clarity coaching. It's help you in life to heal and um, yeah, that's all I want to say. So everyone have a beautiful day and thanks for, your, thanks for watching and please share and like the video with your friends and family and I'll see you again. Bye. Bye from Chiang Mai.